without the instruments can you allow God to hear your cry there is a groaning a cry in expectancy Papo Seketai Etata Ambala Korea Arapa Vete Kabaya Sei Veteto Ekopate Kopala Tati Ebaso Sai Bebera Vatata Antambo Sata Papotiata Ekavre Peli Zetua Apori Kavata Akapo Teketai I Kapo Tapatolia Atua Tefe Kape Rivete a safe at a cato da calita canta sata a papo cate cate a toca to a taparacata pan fetida pacata patua teteke a pe feta tato catone pe sofita pata a pomro cato tevenantapo a papua sata catai a tea cafida toca diata teta in vatodianta. A touch of mercy, a cup of the cut 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 Sato 
Pante Kifale, a Pante Vagaluga, Lakwa Kote, a Kutoma Diakai, a Zai Kote, a Katoria, Ripos, a Kos, a Kapos, a Katapaha Tuake, a Ko, Ibo Sibele, Zembetonia, Zembetambara Sata, Zembetete, Resenteria, Brante Tepapo, Bante Conteso, Sabokit, Kevin Bolly, a Toko Kondote, a Kote Taparatai. I, we have come unto him that answer the prayers, and tonight you will answer. Tonight you will answer. A domain and tie, a yone, a kake kateka, a reto son de kateporia paya. I be the cotton mekosotomiata. Prince Toria take a breast for the promises of God to us in Christ Jesus. Yeah, they are yeah and amen. And tonight we come to him who is the amen. For it is done, for it is done. Mercy, mercy like rivers. I, 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 Kayo yetate, yete yeto ya kwa paru kwa ye, se ya ya, se ya ke ya kwa ke pepe, shingo yeka pamote toas. Amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Sabata taya, Hallelujah, amen. Ah, hallelujah, amen. Yes, amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Ah, hallelujah, amen. Yes, it's done tonight. Amen, amen, amen. 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 Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Amen, 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 amen. Shada kaka kaka pina kanone, reke di me kwanka kadi bai. Shade di ke kadi mante de de yata. Abre de ke soya, akata pa de be di me twa de de kaya. Akati pe pa de konte shote ruatai. Akapa kaka di kate. Amen amen. Amatonde ta ta me soni ata. Reke de 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 ko. You will rescue by mercy. You will save by mercy. You will redeem by mercy. Oh, you will deliver by mercy. You will bless by mercy. Rabbi Dai Shabarakataya. What if I gave the Nikaliya? I can't have the Palafan Dayaki. I can't get the Yada. my feet or from my knees because I perceived that God had something to say and that I was not postured to hear it. 
When I rose and began to walk, the Lord said, ask me to reopen doors. Stay with me. I'm going to explain. Many people ask the question, how can God start speaking to you now and you understand in detail what he's saying without staying long? It's because the communications come in a realm that is not time-based. You can hear come and you can preach come for three hours and the only thing you heard was come. Ask me to reopen doors. God is saying to me tonight that mercy will restore lost opportunity. Hey, hey. I said it repeatedly that our two eyes can see, but in the realm where sight matters, our two eyes are blind. Sometimes we don't cry when heaven says cry because we are not private. We are not knowledgeable as to what should have been that was not. As to what should have been or what was that we did not maximize. So sometimes we are saying God do it. And in the day the voice of mercy begins to speak. As a precursor to recovery. God begins to count how many times he answered that prayer. And you could not perceive. What was Jacob looking for? Men? No. Because the journey of his spiritual ancestry, which was also his natural lineage, began with the voice of the immortal. And so motion in their family was not taught to be at the instance of human communications. Abraham must have told all his sons, if you move, it's that God spoke to you. No wonder they that are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. Nobody makes a God mark in the earth if the conversation that sponsored this action did not start from God. So Jacob was a wanderer. And according to scriptures, it happened upon a plain. He would have walked past that plain but you see, heaven was intentional. I know that God is always intentional, but your case file doesn't come before him every day. There are statements I'm making that you may not think I have scriptures for. The psalmist cried out, when shall I come and appear before you? What kind of appearance was the psalmist talking about? Was it coming to church to worship? No. That I have matters to be sorted. But like in a courtroom, it is not every day your case file is opened. Even though your case file is always there, there is a day of appearance when I am the subject matter of the dealings of heaven. <laughs> ah, may tonight be your night. According to scriptures, the testimony of the persecution of the church, God aggravated between Acts chapter 7 and Acts chapter 9. But there was a certain day after men and women in Jerusalem and in the regions of Judea had been hauled into prison in shocks and in bounds. The day came when in the books of darkness Damascus showed up. It was a, it was a satanic kairos. But in that same day it was another man's day. It was us there. That we saw you do it in Jerusalem, but your case fire was not before us. We will move. We saw you hold garments so that that great prince, Stephen, could be stoned, but we observed you. You went into other regions around Judea and took innocent men. Their only crime was that they had subscribed to the Lordship of Jesus. We held back. But we know there's something about Damascus. And in this day that you approach, we bring your case fire. We will stop at nothing in getting you. 
There was a certain disciple in Damascus called Ananias. But in that day, God will not send a man to a man. God will block a man. I will come after you. I will speak to you. Your natural ears will capture my communication. I will take away your eyes. Everything you found as comfort will be lost until your men perceive your response to be the response of someone who has gone insane. And I will walk you to the city. Because there's something about your life and an alarm has sounded in heaven that today he steps into destiny. That is mercy. Where's Minister Dami? But we're together in the house shortly. Where's Dami? And I said to Dami, I said there is a day that comes in every man's life that all his mistakes no longer count. Where's Dami? Is he around? All his mistakes, the opportunities you missed, the people you caused, the people you wounded, it's like a, 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 an eraser comes and makes a man's life totally new. It's called the day of divine readiness. And that's why we are crying. Because we sense that it is time. I came to announce that if there were doors that you missed, the Lord takes you back through that road. And this time, mercy will not only reopen doors, mercy will open your eyes. Mercy will open your eyes. Mercy will open your eyes. Now you will see it. And you will know it. And you will take advantage of it. In the name of Jesus. Doors reopened in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hey, amen, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, amen. Shamon Kadu Selito Kahada, Rato Kefeketum Masani, Aeni Tuaseyano. Poi Benai, Poi Kepe Samonde, Ranso Pali Faradia Peni Finato. Summarize it when the twins of heaven meet with the twins of earth. Ah. There is a twofold reality that is sustained by heaven that produces a twofold reality that is sustained by the earth. I'll show you scriptures, but let's look at this. God is a healer, and God can heal anytime. Whoever, does anybody believe contrary? 
Okay. I'm giving a background to the scripture. God is a healer. And when you say somebody is a healer, it means that the capacity to occasion that reality is not sourced outside himself. Are you with me? A man by the gifts of God can heal, but you are not a healer. Because the reality of that is administered to occasion healing is not self-sourced. Are you with me? So it means part of the makeup of God is healing. He administers his as health. If you take that aspect of God away, God ceases to be God. It becomes imperfect. It is built into his essence. Are you with me? The fact that he does not heal today does not mean that he's not a healer. Because not every day is a healing day. <laughs> uh, so me and Dami have been having some discussions. Because some people don't understand that kind of statement to say, what did I say yesterday? I said something like this yesterday. What did I say? That God is merciful. It means it is built into his nature to be merciful. But not every day is a day of mercy. What a man should do to be able to maximize these operational realities of God is that you journey with the emphasis of the Spirit. Because what the Holy Spirit is emphasizing is what God wants to do. Now, what is healing? Because that's what we want to pray about. It's not just about your body. Another word which is of stronger essence for healing is restoration. That's what healing is. We perceive that there was, and it's possible that for you, a family or the territory that you represent, that thing has never been. Let me announce to you, you cannot pull out of God into a thing what is not allocated for that thing. So it's possible that it has never manifested before. But restoration is not just what it's not just giving back what has manifested before. It is also bringing into what was ordained to be brought. It can be in the book and nobody has ever experienced it. When we, when we connect the book into experiences, it is also called healing. Sit down for a few minutes. Help me, Holy Spirit. There are things that are written. There are things that are written. There are things that are written. Written about individuals. Written about families. There are books in God. These writings actually define your perfect state. And what we call maturation. Is actually a man's journey into his ordained perfection. I was born to be an apostle. That's not a true statement. I was born an apostle. That's a true statement. That's how I was born. Because my ordination supersedes my natural existence. Before I formed thee, I knew thee. Before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. And I ordained you a prophet unto the nations before men knew the skin color that I will have. That was who I was. So everything that God has successfully done around my life is to the end that who I am in the books is who I am in reality. And sometimes you need mercy to match reality with the books. Have you heard scripture say, train up a child in the way? I heard people say in the way of the Lord. And that's not in my Bible. In the way it should go. How do you know the way a child should go? You will need access to revelation. Because the way every child should go is written in books. So that if you give back to four children, all of them are not designed to go the same way. Every parent's foundational labor is to establish his children in Christ. But what Christ will produce in all of them is different. And if you make every one of them a preacher, 
not knowing that one of them was supposed to be an engineer, one was supposed to be in the bank, you will have destroyed destiny for them. They will all speak in tongues, but they were not designed to speak in tongues on the same platform. Everybody is unique. And I'm saying everyone under the sound of my voice is unique. I don't have a mandate to create pastors. That's why when people come to me, I walk away and I can walk away for two years. And I'm saying he doesn't like me. It's because I want to know your unique makeup. I won't tell everybody to pray for 24 hours every day. Some of your destinies don't require that. I won't tell some of you to read all the books of Watchman Nee. There are other books you need to read. Are you with me? To come into your shape. So, when the book is lost, ordinations become misaligned. And it's not just for men. It's for nations. Even in the worship of Yahweh, whenever the book is lost, the full essence of Yahweh can no longer be captured. That's the mystery behind the book of Ezra. The plan was to reconstruct a temple. But it could not be done because the books was buried under the ruins. And as they were trying to pack out the ruins, the Bible said they stumbled upon the book. And you saw the effect of the book. In Nigeria's modern day church, one of the messages that we need is that the book will be found. I got a video this morning. And the video was about a pastor in the U.S. I used to listen to him long ago. I won't mention his name. But he was a black pastor. Not the one in your mind. It's not a too common pastor. But I used to learn a lot from my heart. If you check my system, I don't think I have less than four or five hundred of his videos. Once he preaches, I download. Once he preaches, I download. But in the last two years, if I listen to him, I will miss my road. I know that one me are very funny. That you will not start a journey and veil off. I have a principle. If I've not seen you in three years, when I meet you, there are things I can't hand over to you. Except the Lord pushes me. But if he's not instructing me, there are responsibilities I cannot give you if I've not seen you for three years. You know why? Three years is too long to become strange. I want to know you again. I didn't say it's in John 3, 16. No. It's a personal life principle. If it's been long I heard of you, my first interaction with you will be to sample your paradigms. How does he think now? So, this pastor sat in a, in a, in a what do you call it, in a discussion and said that, um, that the black community, the black churches and all the pastors, that they, they make, they, 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 they raise in one year about 11 billion US dollars. And that um, that money that they raise is not up to what is raised by any of those Fortune 100 companies. So it means that in a few years, the church is going to go extinct because it's not giving economic value. Because the person that sent it to me is very close to me. So I decided to enter him well. I said, in what age is the church measured by economic value? What kind of church is measured by economic value? Meanwhile, these Fortune 100 companies also employ Christians. So Christians work there. The monies they make, Christians make it too. But it's a that day has come upon us. When a church is trying to compare itself with a company, and the church thinks that our greatest value is money. Silver and gold we have not. You see, all this we need, we need money. We need money for what we are doing. We, need mon we used money to build this thing. Ask Pastor Lamide, this building as at January and everything is what four point, uh, is what, is what 498 million as at January. It will have gone up at least by 40%. So half a billion passed through our account in two and a half years that we know of. But I'm saying that when that day of competition comes, when the church ascends onto Mount Camel 
how much we have in money is not our age. What makes the companies make money is supposed to be the church. We are the ones that regulate the atmospheres. But we have lost what we have. And we are now trying to raise enough money so that we can look like a company, forgetting that we started our journey from the spirit. And that what fights the church is not natural economy. It is the gates of hell. None of those companies can survive the gates of hell. That is what the church is. And so God will need to open the eyes of those who steward this church to find lost books. And in the day that those books are found and the contents are executed, we will say that the church has experienced healing, restoration. It means like it is in God, it is in the earth. That's the first petition of the Lord's prayer. Thy kingdom come. Where's pastor? No, he's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be here. He's supposed to be here. So go and look for him and bring him back here. That's his seat. The church will be empty if everybody walks out. Where was I? I'm saying that the first petition in the Lord's Prayer is thy kingdom, thy will be done, is it on earth or in earth? In earth as it is in heaven. When, that, when the will of God is done in earth as it is in heaven, that experience is called healing. It's a restoration of what is in God. I just explained healing so that you understand my focal verse. You can put it up here too for those who are looking forward. Hosea chapter 7 verse 1. My interactions yesterday night showed that the reason why a lot of people are deprived is that judgment is hanging legitimately. When I would, what does when suggest? What does, or what does when advertise? What quantity does when advertise? Time. So God says, when I will have healed Israel... It means there was a time that even though I am a healer, I didn't feel like healing them. It means not every day is a healing day. Are you with me? There was a time that God decided that he will heal and he advertised that season with the word, when? When I would have healed Israel, then the iniquity of Ephraim was this. Covered. I think Papa shared the testimony some time ago. A woman was terribly sick. Yes. But Papa, that's a person. And he was invited to go and pray for the person. I can't remember where. I'll just tell you the parts of the story that I, I remember. And when he walked in, there was a lot of expectation in the house. He described the house very heavy machines as cars and beautiful house, elevators, underground, underground sections and all of that. And when he got to the place where he was going to pray, ha! he looked at the man, looked at the woman. So he now, say if I pray here now, somebody will die. Because the woman's calamity was the husband. He was, a, he was a, an occultic man who was spending his wife. After a while, he desired the wife to be healed, and so he was invited. So he didn't pray in that house. You know how he excuses himself. And then he walked out. God had sent an emissary, but there was something that was uncovered. Yeah. You are not worthy. The only thing that bridges the gap in the day that the readiness of God meets iniquity in a man is mercy. You know, sometimes when we come to church, there's a way we pray, everybody prays. And the confidence you have in prayer is that the person who is beside you does not know you. 
Am I? If the person knows you, the person will answer you on behalf of God. He will. God will not answer you. If God answers you, the person will suddenly be snapped into another perspective of God. That, ah, it means that God legitimizes wrongdoing. I've gone to meetings where I pray, and the hand of the Lord came upon someone. And the, somebody who was with us said, Ah! Oh, no, they borrow your bike. I told you that when I was laboring, praying to find destiny in secondary school, the first sign that God gave me after five months of praying three hours every night was to send the most notorious boy in our school to give me a rechargeable lamp. And when I met him in the morning, he said, God said that you were afraid. So I should come and give you light. And the first thing that came to my heart was not thank you, Jesus. It was, eh, God can speak to this boy. That with his ways, he's supposed to be deaf. That even if God speaks through a megaphone, he will not hear. But mercy. Tonight, we want to ask God. That in this season, the visitations of God that change the stories of men will no longer meet iniquity. We are not saying God will cover them. We are saying that mercy will occasion forgiveness. Mercy will cause God to forbear. And if there are voices that are crying out in vengeance, let the blood, which is God's emblem of mercy, begin to speak better things. There are families that are ripe. Somebody has cried. And then God comes and he beholds something. God said that his hands are not too short to save. His ears are not deafened to cries. But your iniquity is what has kept you out of reach. That scriptures. It means sin is that potent. It re-Christian's days. It was a day of healing for Israel. But God looked around and found something in Ephraim. The Bible said he discovered and wickedness of Samaria. For they commit falsehood and the thief cometh in and the troop of robbers spoil it without. It was a land of iniquity and God stopped. Wherever you are, you can bow down. And before you begin to pray in tongues, can you spend about three, four minutes in case you are aware of something? And that's how confessions are made. If you are aware, it might be the sin of dishonor, it might be God, it might be men. Immorality, falsehood, theft, deception. Slander. Maybe not even discerning accurately the body of Christ. And I, Daniel, understood by the books. It was time for our deliverance. A company must needs match up from Babylon. Therefore, I set my face to the heavens. You may need to study the prayers of Daniel. It was not just personal sin. It was also sin in ancestral fashion. Shut this gate by your blood. Shut this gate. Shut this gate. Shut this gate. Let that which appears in the day of my intervention be shut down. Let that which has unlocked a vicious circle, almost there, but then far away. Let that which locks up opportunity. Let that which hinders those that you have apportioned for my lifting. Ah, let that which reintroduces me in the realms of the spirit as one without merit. I'm speaking to someone. There is a contrary introduction but which is legitimate in the day that you are about to be favored and tonight 
Olorun ya danu That with in us Abakoni atenas Hey Your blood your blood Jesus your blood Your blood Your blood I your blood your blood your blood all over the building all line your blood your blood your blood tonight we come to Zion hey has seeking no talk hey the atana and on to the blood of sprinkling that speak at better things than the blood of Abel let that which is captured as judgment be set aside because the blood begins to speak mercy ah as ya no ha ha ine eli hi sana unne faha moheru fi anda hase your blood lord jesus let it flow from here into families into lineages that our guilt is blotted out and that our day comes tonight ai say he hano hana hi wate wa perife hena sute hena hate eje jesu eje jesu eje jesu Eje oda gota eje anu Eje Jesus Purge tonight that mercy can come through Ah Ah Oh ah ma ade muto su etate mo ito helevano Kingri si tehenas Rike Conteya before the throne is where we have come. Keep praying, keep praying, keep praying. To offer praise, Kalelana Mohenta, and seek wisdom. You have turned the veil. See how Tabo Honteria that separates. No long aside, Kadi Manosha, now in your grace, before the throne, Kebron Sonketaya is where we've come to offer this and seek wisdom. The blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. Ha! Had a very whole set. Can somebody begin to plead the blood, the blood upon individuals, the blood upon families? It may be a pattern, but tonight the blood breaks that pattern. The blood breaks that pattern. The blood breaks that pattern. They are victims here. The Holy Ghost is saying, "You are not victims of a pattern in a family. You are victims of a pattern in a place of residence. It's about the house. It's about the house. It's about the community. But tonight, the blood breaks the pattern." Animal day na say kabaratabe. The blood releases mercy and patterns are broken. Oh, it can't open a kata pantali atadeya. On this day of healing, we decree.
decree that iniquity is blotted out by the blood of Jesus. I it may have lasted for so long, but we come back the blood, we come back the blood, we come back the blood, and in the name of Jesus, judgment is set aside. Judgment is set aside. Outside in the name of Jesus. Oh. 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 I am raised your blood. I am raised the blood. I embrace the blood of Jesus. I embrace the blood. Oh, for ha da 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 ha. Mercy in your blood. Mercy in the blood. Mercy in the blood of Jesus. Mercy in the blood. We embrace the blood. We embrace the blood. We embrace the blood of Jesus. We embrace the blood. Mercy in the blood. Help me. There is a staring I sense. The spirit of prophecy hangs over us strongly. And so men will be quickened to prophesy. Make sure you have a hand that you are holding. So those who are playing instruments, somebody can come. Just put your hand on their shoulders. I want you to speak. This is that time. This is that time. This is that set time. And there is favor coming hota sambo kateri vatai lipo seti fita parate vi hazo come my daughter come 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 and hold my hand pebibo soltabe ripa ponta vai tabahabos mercy 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 I open gates in mercy I bring you before those that advance your cause in God your feet into favorable places the plague breaks 
atekipele veta bakota barata hia ike kofa paibo senados iko viriante geriata karatai etekizo akwa kafa satis i speak i speak i speak the mercy of god over your life it reverses sentences it aligns with destiny ewako ekate ke fata fata kai to ke buta tete po e papi ke parate te eti tete papo bateta te brata papo te traki papo de kata sate pele pende feata no longer help back like an arrow shot by the lord let targets be met let targets be met we align with the path in god and we keep your feet steady advance by mercy advance by mercy make progress by mercy and lord by mercy ika rabata ketife kakate eka yate yate kuta bada saras prince fita and lord and lord eka nana ninenteya grande rude nai ai piria seviria kalusha kantele seketete clotted in favor clotted in favor clotted in goodness blessed beyond the curse blessed beyond the curse blessed beyond the curse if they say how did it happen you will say mercy made it so established in mercy far from oppression paradadate pamboteyo are you a fee boy shake and fetter katatatapa kotetetete watati etela kende peletete ripe sambe olemenate sambe twatete fekapata atate perutile atai ayante fine andesa ile finane iteke de ferine atata is your shield is your buckler mercy establishes you in ever increasing blessedness i lempos at the very terminal time i cop up lie lie kai rate dati asanta nemante atai it is possible mercy makes it so it will be successful not in false not in dies not in fails live by mercy live by mercy live by mercy amen arababanteyas in jesus name we are prayed ah i am raised the blood we embrace the blood we embrace the blood of jesus we embrace the blood mercy in your blood mercy in your blood mercy in the blood of jesus in the blood and says no problems destroyed in the blood that he told you problems destroyed in the blood father in jesus name we have pray some chapter 85 you may be seated for a while thank you god bless you. Mm-hmm. Yeah.
let veils be turned let veils be torn let veils be torn that which has shrouded men I hope you know that one of the signs of God's mercy is that men become merciful towards you and tonight everyone goes home with that sign spontaneous help spontaneous givings spontaneous doors open in the name of Jesus listen to me sit down sit down sit down sit down I want to get into my scriptures I was somewhere I was somewhere and my my assignment in that place was to lift a cry for this city a cry for this city so the person saw that my body was greater than my own so he tried to probe someone of stature tried to probe into what constituency I was representing so I said the person said is that where you do ministry I said yes and I see your name around I said yes ah he said it means God has broken through for you because the design as unveiled by that person is if you rise with a horn here you will be relevant only here that's what he said ah how old are you I mentioned my age what do you fellowship we just finished building and there was somebody around who has been here he said it means that you must have broken through he said so the next phase of your job is to make sure that everyone under the sound of your voice carries the same testimony where we stand in the spirit is like a valley of dry bones but there's a promise of a breath from heaven you find out, keep my scripture up that in Ezekiel chapter 37, the valley did not change. Maybe the valley changed later, but the Bible did not give us a picture of a chain valley. But when people come, you see, a valley, a location is essentially named by the shape of her people. The Bible did not tell us the real name of that valley. But we know that valleys and mountains in ancient Israel are named. Are you with me? Whatever name that valley had became irre irrelevant because a new dominant reality was placed in. This house will be known as a house of flourishing. We don't have too many options around God. But we keep praying until the least of us is as strong as David. Yeah. You see, the days of one star and many stones are gone. I understand that there is a person-specific fragrance that God has placed in this house. You are not like me. If you listen to me long enough, you may learn my lingo, but you are not like me. If you crave to be anointed as I am, God will not give you because you don't have my assignment. Every man is anointed to the degree of his assignment. Are you with me? Yes, sir. If he gives you 100 and he gives me one, he will not ask me for 100. So even in weights of the anointing, we are not really greater than ourselves. Because 100 over 100 is one. One over one is also one. Are you with me? Yes, sir. It means that until every man stands in the fullness of his own fragrance, the house has not emerged. I schooled in the north. And in some places in the north, you will see one rich man. And like 300 people who will come in the morning, they eat in the morning, they eat in the afternoon, they eat in the night. None of them are praying that it should be well with them. They are just praying that their benefactor will live, forgetting that they were all formed for a purpose. 
They believe that God has congregated their essences in one man. And that God has congregated their supplies in one man. They are not yielding. They are not pushful. They wake up in the morning. They can sleep through the day. I remember there was a time we went for a, a, a national competition in, um, that was 1999. I went to represent the state in Stan, that Science Teacher Association of Nigeria competition in Kaduna, was at Queen Amina College. So they took us around the city and we got to the house of Alaji, Momodu Chachangi. We went there in the evening. My God, it was like a school. Even Chachangi himself will come out, he will not eat inside dinner. He will also eat on a bowl outside. So he eats at the level of the people, but it's not in their level. He was one of the first few privately, um, private running airlines in Nigeria, Chachangi Airlines. I'm not sure if he's still alive because if, I, I don't even know. They, they, definitely their planes are no longer listed. What has become of all of those people? Maybe some of them are even in Obama show. Maybe some of them are in Sabo. We must trust God that everyone enters that rest. At your perfection, you'll be you. In my perfection, I'll be me. It means no matter how perfect I am, I'll still need you. I know you don't believe me. Your eye cannot walk. Its vision just has to be 2020. She'll be 2020, not in good eyesight. Me, I don't have 2020 now because I'm using glasses. I'm saying that your eye at best will see 2020. Your leg at best will be strong to carry your body's weight. The eye at perfection cannot work. It means in perfection, the eye will still need a perfect leg. Every man, none of them breaking ranks. That's why as you ask for mercy, ask for mercy for your neighbors too. And that's what I just did now. Because if you're an eye and you get mercy and you're perfected and your leg does not have mercy, oh, Marina knew. And you're Marina Nikoni Debe. When people are sick, what part of the body do they take tablets from? The mouth. It means if the mouth refuses to open, the whole body will stay sick. That's how connected we are. So the cry must be sustained until the last man says, I have obtained mercy of God. Anybody who was visited by God between yesterday and this evening, quickly, you want to just share with us? Because I had a visitation. There was a meeting in Lagos that I was invited for. And I know that that meeting, I know the meetings that are the meetings. I'm not saying some meetings are not important, but there are meetings that if you do that one meeting and God helps you, it's a gate into a new layer of ministry. And I know this ministry. Every time I stood on their altar, I was shot like a catapult into another level. But something happened... And I don't even know what came over me when the invitation was ex extended about two weeks ago. I said, ah, I'm busy. So this afternoon I sat down and I said, eh, busy ke? Ha. And the pastor said, oh, apostle, you are busy. We'll look for another man to do it. Two weeks ago. And the meeting is next month. Ha, Lord. Lord, Lord, had a me. Sometimes I don't say more than that in asking for mercy. It's just a repeated fashion. Had a me. The Lord now said, pick your phone and call. And I'm telling somebody that a gate that was locked will be reactivated by picking your phone and calling again. Yeah. It's not for everybody, but there's someone. Who unconsciously shut a door? 
Who was I speaking to yesterday morning? I said I've been studying about that, that instruction that God gave. I'll preach it in detail. Jeremiah, during the time of captivity, to go and buy a field at Anatot. How many of you have read it before? I'm going to come and preach it because that's next year. See, let me just give you the cheat code. This year, save more than you are spending. You see, the hardness that we visit the earth next year will be so much, John, that the things that were expensive this year will be sold cheaply. I'm saying that people will buy cars for 10 million and because they can't eat the car, they will sell those cars for 2 million. And Toba need 2 million. No, that don't need to. I've seen it in God and it's established in scriptures. The only instruction, I'll come to preach it. God knew that thing about Tamoto, 10 million, need 2 million. When things become normal, what will he likely do? Oh, they follow up by being. Abi? Say, he just me. It was Juju. So even God had to tell Jeremiah, make sure that internally the documents are sealed and it's also sealed before witnesses to ensure that if anybody comes back to say, I'm running my commentary now, so that if anybody comes back to say, no, he cheated me, say no, we asked you five times, are you selling this car for two million or for, for 800,000? You said, yes, I need money. Please, I'm not a prophet. My little fellowship with God sponsors advanced communication. If you call it prophecy, we are good. This hardship was seen. And this hardship currently in our nation was announced. We are where we are now by decision. Tomorrow, I want us to spend time and spread into the city and the nation. But what I'm saying is, we have not seen the end of this thing. I'm not a prophet of doom, I'm a prophet of boom. And I'm telling you that the way of boom now is to stockpile money. Save it, save it, save it. There are blessings that God will bring and you will think the next thing is to buy 10 shoes. Save your money. You will own shoe shops next year. But I'll say, Jay, Abi, okay, you don't speak Yoruba. You told me you hear small, small. What do I mean by that? Hey, you can't eat shoes. The leather, I know it looks like Momo, but it has been so much treated that you can't find it as Momo again. If you eat it as Momo, something has happened. So even those who have wasted money, mercy will reopen gates. Yeah. So I called again. So I called again. And I said, hey, that your meeting. He said, Kai, Kai, you know, somebody was just telling me yesterday that uh, if apostle is not coming, let's look for another person. He now, I now asked God. That's what he was said to me. And I asked God. And God now said, if he says he will not come, don't replace him. Then do your meeting yourself. So he now said, are you good? I said, I'm good though. It's okay, so we start publicity. I know there's ego. Abi, how can I say I'm not doing, and I say I will do. I'm giving you a word from the Lord. If you used your mouth to shut a God opportunity, I'm not saying that a boy block you on the road and say, I'll give you money for something. You now say, open the door. You know what I'm saying. The wisdom from above is first, is first pure. It means that the pathway of this wisdom I'm bringing is a pure path. Anything you lost, some of you tonight into tomorrow, Ambassador Dela, you, you are leading tomorrow. I told you now. Ah, did I not say it? See, don't sleep this night. <laughs> Find God for these people. Some of you will have old names quickened in you. 
there are about three people. Now, when you when those names are quickened, you will find out on your WhatsApp that they left messages proposing help to you that you have not bothered to read. When he mentions the names, look for the names. I'm not saying become a beggar. I'm just saying that some of some people said they will help you. But um, what was done was that you read past their messages. Imagine somebody say, I would uh, just send me account details. I need to help you do this thing. And then you now say, I'm fine. Because you didn't bother to read it. That person is, is a gotten person. Uh, may God give you understanding. Even if you said okay, it means you can send it now. And what does I'm fine mean? I don't need your help. Some people don't hear it twice. Yes, they hear it once and, and they say, some are in. Some people say, mama, mama, but she read. Oh, fine. Okay, somebody wants to share with us. I just, where's that person? Maybe just one person. My time is almost up. Okay, so come. Come, come, come and share with us. Any other person? Well, yeah, come, come here. Come here. But that will be major testimonies. Even at home, God will, God will do so much. The agenda of this, of this, this three-day convergence is that your family and you, you are extricated from the the darkness in the nation. A B wa no relate the wa, but a B o new pai. I'm saying that there's hunger in the nation, but it will not get to you. It will not get to you. There is a promise that God will build Goshens, and what we have been waiting for is Goshen like an estate. No, no, no. Homes will be isolated. Households will be isolated from this pain. Yes. Please. Thank you, sir. Um, praise God. My name is Joy. I want to share a testimony. This morning, um, I received a message from my cousin sister from Ibadan. She said she had a dream about me. And that dream was so real to her that she, when she woke up, she was like, God, this is a dream. And the dream was that she saw so many people giving me a lot of gifts. And she was like, this, so many gifts. <clears throat> and this gift, she even told me that dream that, Joy, you cannot wear some ones, sell them so you can have money to pay your tuition fee. And she was like, she thought she, she, she don't want to wake up from that dream. That is so real to her. She has never had a dream about me before. But this morning when I saw it, I was like, God, let this come to manifestation because I don't expect some, a dream like that from my cousin sister, from IB. Hold my hand. So is there a school fees problem? Uh -huh. Okay. So tell Pastor Diola the amount of the school fees. I don't think that we should wait for God to answer that prayer. Is that so? So just, just give me a feeling. And Lord, I speak to the home where she's from, and I ask that you will rush supplies. You will rush supplies. Let the scarcity break in the name of Jesus. So give him the, the amount. Give him the account number. Before you wake up tomorrow morning, you will have your school fees. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Praise the Lord. My name is Isaac, and I want to thank the name of the Lord. The last couple of months, several months actually, I've, I have been experiencing a dwindling of the presentness I used to enjoy with the Lord. And I tried prayers, tried different things, but there's that cordial relationship that was no longer there, and I had been begging God, but yesterday at the gallery, uh, as I was crying, he, he, he came like a flood. Uh, it, it's the first time in a very long time, and 
throughout between yesterday and today, even things, wisdom that I had been praying for for months, it just, it came so naturally, like, is this the thing you have been thinking about for this long? Like, so I want to thank the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord. So the Lord told me while I was praying three days ago that um, he's restoring favor into my household and my life. So, and then today the Lord gave me a sign. Just today I received three gifts from three people, which is quite strong. Even, even, even on my birthday, I don't think I received three gifts from three people. So I'm grateful for that. So what it means is that, you see, there are, there are gift days. And sometimes your gift day is not your birthday. Okay, okay. Oh, why is the line suddenly growing long? We need to go home. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay, um, so I had to make an urgent journey early this morning. So I, while I was going, the bike man asked me that, hope there is no, there is nothing with my phone, because I use an iPhone. Hope there is nothing with my phone that um, you want to go through a route and the police might be questioning. So I say, ah, nothing, nothing, it's fine. So we went, and then while I finished what I was doing, I was coming back. So the bike that took me was an Hausa man. So we just, we got to a point, and then the police officer, okay, police officer shouted, pack, 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 pack. And then that police officer responded that, let them go, let them go, let them go. So while we were, I, did, I didn't, it didn't occur to me what happened. So the also have now asked me that, you know them? I was not asking him that, I think say, you say, know them. <laughs> so I was, not, I was not thinking that what could have like come up. So I now remembered that we had been praying for mercy. And this might have been a case of having to, having to maybe be arrested for something I didn't do and all of that. I want to thank God for it. Because, um, Many times, if police stops, you don't know how long the criminal list of a policeman is. Yes. If he stops you, something will be wrong. So his hand rests upon you, and he preserves. Praise God. He preserves. So, okay. I, just, I came to Ogomosho purposely because of the of church. So, because well, of? Because of uh, HWCA. Really? Yes. From where? Yeah, I'm coming from... Let me say from Lagos, Ibado, down okay. to Bobosho. So I came because of this place. So normally every, every month, I do have uh, this menorrhea, which is menstrual pain. So majorly, I'll have premenstrual syndrome like a week or two weeks. I will have insomnia, body pains. Even sometimes I will even think about it. Is it, is it cancer? Even sometimes, I, I actually told someone, said I should go and do one Doppler test, like maybe it's, sometimes I'll be feeling pain in my left leg and to be so severe. So let me say, true heart every month, is like all, all those months, it's just with pains. So these, I think it was two weeks, I, I had insomnia for three days, I couldn't sleep. So, and I was even thinking if it is malaria. But this time around, my menstruation actually came without pain. And it started yesterday. I don't want to, I don't, I don't even want to come out, but I think if I share the testimony, it will be more, like it will be permanent. Because it just came, and I was even uh, telling my friend that, uh, like, am I menstruating? Do you think, like, I'm not seeing pain. Like, it's, like, it's something that is strange to me. Because normally I would have injections, a true heart pain, just so I thank God for that. Um, praise the Lord. My name is Jesto for me, so I want to bless the name of the Lord. Sometimes last year I took a journey outside my purpose, and it lasted for three months. 
I engaged in something I was not supposed to, although it seemed as though I thought it was the plan of God. I thought it was God's purpose because it was going very smoothly. I mean, very, very smoothly. And then I thought, if it's not God's plan, it's not supposed to be this easy. So within that period of three months, I lost a lot of things, spiritual virtues, spiritual gifts, and most especially, I even it was worse to the point that I lost my communication skill and a lot of things. But uh, earlier this year in January, when I came to church, uh, Papa prayed for me and he spoke words over my life. And ever since then, I've been trying to. In fact, at some point yesterday, when Papa was talking about restoration and all, I was like, hmm. I do not even remember everything that I have lost, but I was feeling it in my spirit that there is something that is missing about me. I mean, if I'm to compare before that journey and now, there is something that is obviously missing. But I just prayed yesterday and then I trusted God that the way I was feeling, I knew something was actually wrong somewhere that I was supposed to pray about. So when I got home yesterday, I had a prayer session with my friends and then later on in the night, I had to speak to another friend of mine and I want to bless the name of the Lord because I did not know that I know Bible reached that level. To be honest, I did not know where the... It felt, at first, I've, when I was in the prayer session, in fact, I had to calm myself down there. It's true, calm down. It's not that it's leading this prayer. So I, it was rushing. And even till now, there are some Bible verses. I used to read Isaiah 11 verse 2 on the norms before. But yesterday, I just got the next verse, and then the way I just explained it, it came with so much, and then I was feeling that, ha, ha, I did not understand, I had to message Pastor Lamdi, but I just want to give thanks to God, because he feels so sorry for it to be honest. Praise God. Um, I want to bless God for restoration. Actually, it's my birthday today, and every year I do pray, I do see God's face towards the journey of the new year. And this year, I, what I received from the Lord was just to pray for my family. I was telling God, don't I have my own personal needs? But God, God was just telling me to just pray for my family, pray for my family. And it is very, very true. There are several things, there are several patterns several patterns that I just pray, I do pray, pray, pray about them, but this, um, the, um, during the midnight, I prayed again, and to the glory of God, to the glory of God, this very day, one of my siblings that I never expected sent money to me for the very first time, for the very first time, I never expected it. I, I, I never expected it because it was, it has been a very tough time, a very tough time living life and all, but then I want to give glory to God because this is a sign, because I asked God during the midnight, I said, God, give me a sign that these prayers that I've been praying are answered, and I want to say thank you, Jesus, for answers to prayer. I bless God for his tangible presence in our midst. Yesterday we were here praying for God's mercy. I was praying without even having a desire. I was praying for my family and I was begging God for mercy. My family has been trying to process their traveling and God miraculously extended it to me because I wasn't expecting it. And my sister messaged me yesterday that my international passport is being processed. Sorry. I don't know why they shouted. I didn't hear your story. Yes, now. I, I was... Shout. Praying yesterday, as Apostle gave us the revelation of God's mercy, I was praying, I assumed myself as the blind man, and I was praying to God, who is the king of mercy. And yesterday, my, my sister messaged me, immediately I got to my hostel, that my international passport is being processed. Because I had a desire for my mom and my brother for their traveling, and I've been praying that all our licenses should be released. I've been praying and praying, but I came here with a free heart yesterday, and I was, I was praying. The traveling was also extended to me as well, and I believe coming out here, we also perfect everything concerning my family. I want to thank the Lord for his mercy that abounds. Actually, I was chosen to be one of committee for an event that, um, that my department is going to host. It's like a national event. So me, me being chosen was a surprise to me because I know that a lot of people that are competent for 
the post I was given. So, all right, so I thank God for that. So yesterday was when we all, let me say, a few of us went to visit someone, I mean, someone holding a post in Laos Tech. So I don't want to reveal it. So, um, and yesterday was the first day of three days of mercy. So God now reminded me, actually, I don't want to go. That I don't want to go. Let me just be in the hostel. But God told me that I should leave my hostel and go for the visitation. So me and other members of the committee went. And from there, I made my way to church. And God was now reminding me of of um, what happened that is actually in alignment and it's just like a sign of what is going to happen and yesterday so I received instructions from the Lord so that's just it sir. Hallelujah. Um, yesterday, um, before the meeting, um, I had to um, create time to pray. And while in my place of prayer, God told me he was going to step in. Even though I didn't really didn't understand what it meant by stepping. So while I was uh, kneeling down here before the Lord, um, I just have this, it's as though they clothed me with a garment, and I couldn't stop crying. So when I go home, after I finished eating and we went to bed, I just, around to one, I woke up, having Papa told us that we need to sustain prayers. I began to pray. I prayed till around Tiggy in my prayer watch. I joined the watch. I came out of the prayer. I still continue praying. So I now remember that 20, there are two seasons of my life till now that I can, I can actually reckon with since I got saved. That was 2015. That was the year I got saved, March. And also 2020, that was the COVID-19 here. So, but that, this very morning, I had a dream. And in that dream, I saw two old men. It's as though they threw red carpet before me. And they treat so long, and I couldn't see the end. And I saw 2025. And I said, start walking now. You cannot walk through this rug. I just started walking, and I woke up. Sir. So, Father, we, we speak to the days leading up to 2025. We align those days with destiny. Instructing each of the days that they will be servants of the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything he has desired to sustain that journey aligns with you in the name of Jesus and we decree that in that year all of us your brethren will testify with you Amen. that God has been good to you Amen. in the name of Jesus God bless you okay so Pastor Timothy has a few two testimonies for tonight from okay it's one from uh, online audience all right praise God my parents have been ill since Sunday, the personal, and they needed to go to the hospital. <laughs> but there was no money. I have been working for some months with no payment. Yesterday, my mom collapsed and she was put on drip because they knew her at the hospital, but I still didn't have money to pay. Today, someone called me from the UK and sent me 100,000 euro, enough to clear the hospital bills. This is my testimony from Lagos. Lord bless you. So for that family, we're asking that this would be like the cloud, the size of a man's hand. That right there in Lagos, there will be visitations in great favor. A rain of supernatural supplies upon that family. And I forbid the devourer that which allows gifts in and wastes on sickness and disease, we forbid in the name of Jesus. That's as a point of contact for anyone here. You've seen that pattern. 
that when you don't have, it is fine. Every time you have, there is something negative to spend it on. Maybe you've even been having gifts and its money has been wasting. Tonight, we block that conduit and we serve the administering spirit. Notice, let the waster be rebuked in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. So, I know there will be a lot more testimonies by tomorrow. And like they've taught us to say, you will testify. God bless. Come